Hey, what's up guys? It's the Sports Blitz here and we're back with some more NFL power rankings. Before I get into it, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Um, guys, we've been at kind of a standstill with our subscriber count lately. So if you could help me push that up, you know, even three or four new subscribers this video, it's going to really help. So I'd appreciate if every one of you would subscribe. Uh, but NFL Week 3 was crazy. Um, all three of my teams that were in the top three last week, all three of them lost. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of interesting. So, um, it's going to be changing quite a bit. Going to go ahead and go through these, you know, as we go. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, starting... Number one, I can't really have the Bills there anymore. However, the Eagles, to me, they're looking like an incredible team. I think I'm going to go ahead and put them at number one right now. Um, Bills, I think, still look really, really good. But Eagles just look... In Eagles look incredible right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have them at number one right now. Um... My other two top three teams are going to be the Bills and the Dolphins. I'm going to go ahead and set these down here for just a sec. Um, I thought about it a lot. Um, I am going to go ahead and have the Dolphins at number two. I do still think the Bills are the better, better team. But Dolphins have just... They've been able to find ways to win, you know? I know their roster isn't quite stacked as the Bills. I think the Bills, again, have the better team. But Dolphins just find ways to win. And where they're undefeated right now, I've got to put them over the Bills. I think that's only fair. Um, but then 4 through 9, this is going to be tough for me. This is going to be really tough. Um... You know, I didn't think the Rams win over the Cardinals was all that impressive, to be completely honest. I think, out of all this, I think Ravens deserve to be at number four. Um, they, they played a good game against the Patriots. Mac Jones was looking pretty good at points, um, but Lamar, Lamar Jackson so far is probably my early vote for MVP. Um, he's been playing out of his mind. So, really impressed by Lamar so far. Um, so, Ravens at number four. Number five. You know, I was more impressed with the Packers win over the Bucks than the Rams over Cardinals. So, I'm actually going to move Packers to number five. Um... I, it wasn't a super offensive game, but I was really impressed with their defense. And we still know what that offense is capable of. I think it was a good game. I'm going to go ahead and put the Packers there at number five. Uh, then we have at number six. I'm going to go ahead and have the Rams there at number six. Um, you know, I know it's technically going down by a spot. Um it wasn't an, it wasn't a real impressive win over the Cardinals, but it was a win nonetheless. So I'm not going to really lower them. Um, number seven. Um, so the Chiefs before were number two. I think moving them down five spots is enough. I don't think they're going to go on this like bad losing streak or anything. So I don't know why it's lagging there. Um, I don't expect them to go on this crazy, like, losing streak, though. I expect them to get back to winning, you know, right away. So I'm not too worried. I'm going to go ahead and drop them down to seven, you know, down two spot or down five spots. Um, yeah. Um, same sort of deal with the Bucks. They didn't lose super bad. Um, they were at number three, now moving them down to number eight. Um, so, yeah. Then, number nine. I've got to think this through for just a minute. There's something I really, really want to do, but I don't know if it'd be an overreaction. You 
You know what? I'm going to do it. Guys, Jacksonville Jaguars are looking legit, okay? I'm putting them at 9. I cannot believe I'm doing this. The Jaguars looked incredible the last two weeks. Um, you know, in the week two power rankings, I moved them from 32 to 24. Now from 24 to 19. Guys, they're looking legit. Um, Trevor Lawrence is looking a lot better than I expected. Their defense is looking just insane. Defense is looking like a top five defense in the league. I'm I'm really impressed. If they keep it up, I think they could win the AFC South. Like legitimately. Um good good win by the by the Jaguars. Um Number nine or sorry, number ten, excuse me. Um you know, I'll go ahead and leave the the Vikings right there. You know, they got a win over the Lions. Um, it was kind of what I expected. I expected a close game, but I thought the Vikings would pull it off. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave the Vikings right there. You know, they, they played about how I expected. Um, but then number 11, I'm going to go ahead and move the Chargers to number 11. They were at, I want to say they were number four, four or five last week. Um, so it's a pretty big drop. I think they're going to get back to winning pretty soon, though, so I don't expect really a losing streak or anything crazy. I think they're still a really talented team, though I don't think Justin Herbert should have played with that injury. I, I thought it was pretty evident that he was hurt. So um, then at number 12, I'm going to go... You know, I'm gonna go with the Cowboys. I don't want to move them up this much, but I mean, if they're winning like this with Cooper Rush, I mean, their defense has looked incredible as well. Um, Their defense is kind of carrying them right now, but their run game is just good enough and Cooper Rush is just good enough. They're finding ways to win, you know, and that's... That's showing they're a good team, even even without Dak, which that wasn't something I expected them to do. So I'm moving them back up to 12. Um, I am going to go ahead and leave the Lions at 13 there. I think that's, you know, about where they are as a team. Um, I expect them to continue being competitive in a lot of games, um, winning some more games. Um, their offense continues to look really good in my opinion. They're one of the highest scoring offenses in the league. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave them right there at 13 for number 14. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'll go and put the Bron the Broncos right here at 14. Very, very, very boring game, but they did get a win over the 49ers. So Going to go ahead and do it. 15 here. Going to go ahead and actually have the Bengals. Um, they finally got a win over the Jets. I think I think they're going to, you know, start looking better. I think they're going to go on a little bit of a winning streak and get back to how they were last year. Um, so 16, last team in this tier. Um... I'm going to put, let me think, who did the Browns play? The Browns played the Steelers, didn't they? Yeah, I'll go ahead and move the, the Browns up to 16. So I'm going to go ahead and move the rest of these teams, whoops, down into this tier. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put the Browns at 16. I mean... Again, you know, with a backup quarterback, Jacoby Brissett, they've been finding ways to win. Nick Chubb has looked incredible. He's leading the league in rushing right now. Their defense has looked pretty dang good. Um, yeah, again, they're finding ways to win. Uh, 17. 
I'm going to put the, wow, literally every single team in this tier lost this week. Every single team in this tier. Um, so then with that, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do the Colts a favor here and move them up to 17. Um, I, I don't expect the 13 and four season for them. Like I predicted er, early on. Um, but I don't expect exactly like a, you know, five and 12 type of season either. I expect them to be kind of middle of the pack. And I think 17 is a good representation of that. Number 18 I'm going to put I'm going to put the 49ers right here. I think I think that's about where they are as a team. Um not looking great, but also not looking like, you know, worst team in the NFL. Uh 19. Going to go ahead and Man, the rest of these teams have played so bad lately. You know, 19, I'm going to go ahead and have the Arizona Cardinals. Um, They haven't been looking like the worst team in the league, but they also haven't really looked great either. So, yeah, number 19, I think that's a good spot for them. Number 20. I'll go ahead and have the Giants right there. They're two and one, you know, they started out two and oh, they were close to beating the Cowboys. They just couldn't quite pull it off. Um, so we're going to go ahead and have them right there. Um, let's see, that was number 20. So 21, I'm going to go ahead and have the bears there. You know, they got a win over the Texans. They're two and one right now as well. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say they've been looking good or great but they've they've looked solid their defense is looking good and they're finding ways to win games so i'll take it uh number 22 i'll go and leave the patriots right there i think that's a solid spot for them 23 i'll actually have the steelers right there as well 24 i'm gonna go ahead and actually move the saints ahead of the jets right there so there we go um, Saints, I still think they have the potential to be a decent team, but Jameis needs to get healthy. Um, Alvin Kamara needs to get healthy. And quite honestly, I think the coach needs to manage the game a little bit better. Dennis Allen, I think he needs to manage the game a little better. Um, but again, still a team with a lot of potential. They can win any given week. Um, there's just, there's some other things that need to happen. They need to step up a little bit. So 25, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to have the Titans right here. They, they finally got a win. It was over the Raiders who spoiler alert this week. I'm going to have them dead last. Okay. They're the only Owen three team remaining in the NFL. Um, they just haven't been able to put it together. Um, and I think it honestly falls on the coaching. The team has talent. I was kind of saying after this last year that they shouldn't have fired, uh, I can't remember his name. It was the interim head coach from last year, led them to the playoffs. I don't think they should have fired him. I think they should have given him a year to see how he is. Um, because I don't think Josh McDaniels is looking great. Um, I think it really falls on coaching. And Raiders, I don't I don't know about it, man. Like, I predicted them to have, I want to say, a 10 or 11 win season. But, man, they're struggling bad. They are struggling bad. So, 26, I'm going to... Man, the rest of these teams could be very interchangeable. I'm going to go ahead and put the Falcons here. <laughs> um, 
I think the Falcons still have a pretty talented team. They were able to beat the Seahawks. Not a huge accomplishment, but, I mean, none of these other teams down here can really say too much either. So, there you go. Falcons at 26. 27, I'm going to go ahead and put the Carolina Panthers. Now, I don't really expect the Panthers to be a great team going forward. The quarterback play needs to step up. Um, McCaffrey's having a good season so far. Hope he stays healthy. Um, defense is looking really, really well. Really good. Um, but there's still pretty obvious coaching issues. Um, Baker really needs to step up. And the Panthers always seem to have a few games early on in the season. That they look really, really good. And then it's kind of just false hope. They kind of just fall apart later in the season. So until I see more, you know, really good wins, I'm not going to move the Panthers up too much. I'm going to keep them here at, you know, 27. Um, 28. Yeah, I'll go ahead and have the Seahawks there. I think that's a pretty fair spot for them. You know, I'm actually going to leave... Well, no. I'm going to move the Texans back here to 31. But the rest of this order is about what I expect. You know, you got Raiders 32, Texans 31, Jets 30, Washington 29. So, let me know what you thought of these power rankings this week. I know there's going to be a lot of people that disagree, a lot of people that agree. For me, the craziest move was moving Jacksonville clear up to number 9. I didn't expect I'd be that high on them this season. They, they've they really impressed me, really surprised me. Um, Trevor Lawrence is looking good. Um, so let me know if you agree with that, disagree with it. Um, again, smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.